Hello, it is me, Yi King. And if you see the community post, you know I got a lot of stuff. So I'm hoping we have enough camera storage for all of it. <coughs> but anyways, we have an unboxing today. And it's actually something different than a Bakugan for once. <laughs> it's a Transformers. From Transformers Legacy Evolution, we have Core Clash Starscream. He's actually my third favorite this Transformer of all time. And second, Shockwave, and then first, it's Soundwave. And I order all three in Core Class. Uh, I believe Shockwave and Soundwave come from just Legacy, and the Starscream's from Evolution. So, yeah. Let's just take a look at the box before we get into it. Um, front with an open casket, showing off the figure. Side, showing off some of the bots from the Legacy Evolution, like the Junkions, Insecticons. Who is that? Optimus, the Nemesis, Tarn. And over here, we have a picture of Starscream. That's in Core Class, Legacy Evolution. Picture of his alt mode. He, trans he goes from robot to jet. On the back, shows both forms. He takes 17 steps, which is a lot. Because <laughs> I think for my Dinobots, they're like maybe 7 to 9. The box is up there, but I'm not going to go grab them. Um, so yeah, um, little information, some more information. The beautiful barcode. Blank side. Recycling information. Oh, well, maybe I do have it. Right. Yeah, recycling information. And yeah. So let's stop looking at the box, but I'm going to keep. And let's get into the unboxing. So be, always be careful when using scissors. But compared to Transformers, then backing on, a whole lot more easier to get into. Um, so let's see. <laughs> I'm looking at this through myself and the camera, so... Okay, there we go. You know what? I'm going to do something different for once. Usually I toss the box off, but I'm just going to throw it up here for the Transformers stuff. Actually, I'm going to move you a bit more up. There we go. Um, His instruction sheet. I'll quickly preview that once I get him out. Apparently, he's a reprint from his Kingdom line, so, but I don't have it, so it's a win in my books. Oh, wait. <laughs> when you get so used to backing on, you think of test strips, but these guys, you can just kind of untangle. <laughs> do do that. <laughs> All right, that's strip one. Actually, I'm just going to pull this one out. Oh, shit. Oh, good way to keep it in, I will admit. Alright, now let's get into this one. Um, let's see. All right, there we go. Um, you two can go over here. Um, okay, so you just kind of okay. Star screen come right there. I was looking at the figures all the time, so I don't know how much unboxing on the camera. But he comes with two accessories, which are his blasters. This part can go off to the side though. All right, let's just have a quick little look see these guys' instructions to the camera. Oh, um, safety paper. Put away scissors, because I'm not using them. Um, 
Oh, it's double sided. Okay, that's interesting. So it just tells you where accessories go. We'll slow mo zoom by. And then here's the other side because he got 17 steps. But he's a core class, I'm sure I can figure it out. So, we have the person who likes to kill off Megatron but can never succeed. The man, the myth, Starscream. So yeah, here he is. You know, he's pretty good. Um, legs. I knees can point out to that way. Arms. Um, ball joint. He has. Ooh, that's different. Wait, can he bend his arms? Okay, he kind of can, but not that much. But he has arm bends. My Dinobots don't, but for some reason they give it to Snarl and Swoop. <laughs> um. Rinse and PvP for the other side. You can stick. Oh, okay, that's weird. I guess that's because of transformation. And he has a ball joint of a head. So, yeah. Now, then, let's get his accessories. And there's a little hole right there. So, that's where his blasters would go. So, he can look the part. Actually, I wonder. Can he hold them? <laughs> Give me one sec. I just want to see if he can hold them. Give me one sec. I'm not gonna force it. I'm just gonna see if he can. Okay, he can. He can hold them. But I think it'd just be better to have it on his arm. So yeah. Star screen. So let me just have a quick little look at the instructions and see how we start transforming him. I may need to take off his guns. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's just telling you right here. They can go in his arms or he can hold them. Um, okay, so... Wait, what? What's step one? Step one, you split him apart. Okay, I'm going to take off his guns. <laughs> just for now. And you split Split him apart. Okay, hang on. Why aren't you splitting? It turns out I'm an idiot. It's not this piece you're supposed to grab. You're supposed to grab his chest piece for his other side. So, I'm stupid. <laughs> but, um... Well, it's okay if he flops over. Okay, so next step is you're supposed to fold him down. Like that. So, you just bring down his head. I don't know if that got kind of cameras. You're supposed to do that. Then you bring over his snout, like so. Okay. Step five is you point him down, and then you're supposed to. Wait, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to like bend his legs? Or maybe his wings. Oh, okay. So his wings. Okay, so his wing piece right here that's supposed to like stick out. If you can see by his leg. Well, I got it out. Yeah, it's supposed to do that. So rinse and repeat for other leg. If I can find his other leg. New transformers. They don't like to fall. They don't like to transform. Um. So you do that. Then you're supposed to pull them up, like so. And then scissors are supposed to snap. Just his leg. So give me one sec. He is very stiff. So you're just supposed to like do that. To make his back piece. And. Wait, what? Are you supposed to twist his neck? Or... Nope. 
Step six is, I guess they got four. Oh, they got four. They're on themselves. Okay. I'm reading this, and I hope I'm getting it. Wait, what? Okay, hang on. I gotta check out these instructions. So, step six. You do that. Oh, I'm stupid. He's supposed to somehow twist. Okay, that makes sense. I'm stupid. You're supposed to twist his back. Um, then you connect the legs. Well, okay, here. Okay, yeah, so there's like a little clip, so then clips into his legs. Okay. And on the back, okay, which I did by accident, um, you're supposed to bring his centerpiece right up here and snap it into place. His head is supposed to twist around and then it goes into a snail and I already scuffed. Wait, what? Okay, <laughs> I'm stupid. His snout can fold in and out, so you're just supposed to pull it forward like that. Then you snap it in. These instructions are very hard to read. Then you take his head and you just connect them together. And then you take his little guns When, yeah, he's pretty much a jet now. Wait, I think I'm reading. Well, okay. Am I, did I miss a step? 17, 18. Okay. Then he's supposed to collapse his, his hands in together. Like that. And then you gotta rotate the wrists. Do you? Hmm, wait. Man, they make it seem like there's something extra in these steps. Okay, so you're supposed to get the guns and pop them on. Like so. I don't know how much this is catching on camera, but once you do that, there's supposed to be a little tap slot. Oh wait, okay, hang on. Wait, so how do you get to this? Cause this tap's supposed to go in there, but Well, I may have mistransformed him, but these instructions are too complicated for me, and he's a core class. So, I'm just going to throw on his guns and call it a day, because all that's left is just to tap in his arms, but I mean, it gets the job done. So yeah, he's in his jet mode now. And Lord, he's going to be a nightmare for stop motion. <laughs> So yeah, Star Scream in his jet mode. Um, uh, looks weird because he's just like, ooh. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. He's like a jet. So it goes, mm -hmm. But yeah, he's pretty cool. So, honestly, I really like the set. Um, I got Chris with my third favorite Transformer. And he's in the core, core set, so he's easy. And cheap. So yeah. Um, this has been my unboxing on Transformers Legacy Evolution.
Coral Class Decepticon Star Scream. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and I'll reply to them as fast as I can. And subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever you see a new video. And yeah, until next time, bye!